Welcome back. We're going in for Operation Furious Feast in the Advent Priority District in Tijuana. We're going in to extract a VIP from an Advent City, meaning they're in our custody from the start of the mission, and we go from there. We're going to walk them out, to walk them through hell, basically. Uh, we've got a pretty damn good squad. We just researched a blaster launcher, which Beegs is modeling in his uh, heavy exosuit. Um, apart from that, uh, it's the same loadout you know and love. We just put a superior aim PCS on Kilroy, so he's going to have like another plus... Like another plus uh, 16 or 17 to his aim, I think. Once Integrated Warfare is calculated. So we've got a pretty strong squad here. Let's touch down. Menace 1-5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Oh my god, this thing is so dumb and I love it. There is... <laughs> fucking hell. There is quite literally nowhere you are safe from the blaster bomb. Can I just get three of these for my exosuits? Thanks. I think I'll just take three blaster bombs. Okay, well I've gone to sleep, I've woken up again, and let me just check. <laughs> no! No, it wasn't a dream! The, bl the blaster bomb is as ridiculous as I remember it from last night when I landed on this mission. It wasn't a dream. I thought maybe it was a dream, but it wasn't. It's real. This is a real item that I now have the power of. Oh my god. Look at it. I can't wait to see this thing actually work. It I bet it looks even better in flight. I just- I want to be able to do the waypoints. I want to do the waypoints. I want to waypoint it around like the old game. Like the movement in this game, when we all go, woo, 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 do little spins. Okay, where's Ghost? Despite Kilroy's appearance, this is still a serious campaign. Filled with serious decisions. Uh, we have to get the VIP up this building to that LZ. That seems doable, doesn't it? Oh, grapple? Don't mind if I do. Oh, you gotta, you gotta put your, uh, there you go. Deploying grapple. Gotta put your elevation up. One day I'm gonna grapple and get spotted for it, but so far it seems to work for me. This thing looks ready to smash something. Is that an environment suit? Maybe something that can't handle our atmosphere? Those emissions could be toxic. I advise caution, Commander. Orders confirmed. On the oh. move. One day it's gonna get me into trouble, but so far, it's okay. I like grapple first turn. It's fun. So now... We are facing uh, a new enemy. It's a new enemy. It's uh, a pigeon in a suit. Actually, no. It is the Andromedon, and I'm going to kill it. That's my description of the Andromedon. Killer is going to kill it. I'm, I'm just gonna just just straight up just blast the bomb. Whoop! Just dead. Just gonna blast the bomb. You. All right. So what do you want to do about this? The evac zone is quite close. So we have time to kind of chill. Can I really not see her until I get to this position? That's wild. I don't, I don't get it. Apparently I can't see her until I get real close. Well, we're about to find out, I suppose. I'm trusting you here. I'm trusting a line of sight indicator. Alright, my trust in Jake was not misplaced. It's, it's true. It's actually true. Not a problem. The line of sight indicator was no lie. No problem, boss. Tired of waiting around. Finally. Alright. Hunkering. Overwatching. Oh, by the way, yeah, capacity discharge. Yeah, so this is only the second tier of Gremlin, but it does 13 to 19. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why it does this much damage. Don't send me questions asking why. I don't know. I don't know why it's that good. I don't know why it's a nuclear fucking bomb. I couldn't- I could not tell you. I ju we just don't know. Science has not advanced to the point where I can tell you why it does that much damage. This'll be good though. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> don't mind me. Okay. Nah, the Andromedon's mad. Oh, you're gonna walk into the rest of my Overwatch fire? Uh-oh! Okay, the gunslinger's not gonna be very effective against the four armor unit. 
Be nice if we could get Jill shooting it with the shred, but she's gonna be the last one to fire, unfortunately. There we go. Would have been nice if Kilroy and Jill had been. That's why they're at the front, you know. That's nah, a total lie. That was just a coincidence. I didn't even think of that. I'm not even thinking. I just woke up. Oh shit! They're far away though. They're not. They're not close enough. That's just my scout spotting them. Okay. It occurred to me last night while I was sleeping too that what you should always do, because conceal is like a better version of phantom, what you should always do with your rangers is probably, if you have time where you can go about a ranger, what I should have done, uh, and what I might even do with Suarez, it's, well, the shotgun's so much better than the blade though. If the blade just did a little bit, I'm sorry for this interruption here, but see how the blade just can't compare to the damage the shotgun does? Why is that? Why would you ever use the blade? The blade's cool and fun to use, but apart from Reaper and Bladestorm, why would you use the blade? It, it's got way less chance to crit. There's no way to pump your crit up like with flanks and and talon rounds and shit. Why would- there's just so much less damage. You don't get the plus three damage on flanking targets that you do with the shotgun. Why would you ever use the blade? Like it's- it needs buffs. Blade needs buffs. But I was gonna say, if the blade was good, what you can do, uh, and in fact, well, yeah, what you can do is you can retrain your ranger. Phantom's necessary early. Then retrain your ranger and uh, turn them into a Blade Master Ranger after 10 days of retraining. Uh, and then you, can, then you can get Conceal, which is just a better version of uh, Phantom anyway. But the thing is, I, and then I, while saying that, I remembered, the Blade's just not very good. Like, it's, it just doesn't do as much damage. Maybe I'm just spoiled because I have really good aim on Suarez, I don't know. But, that's my opinion. Anyway, we need to kill this stupid fucking Andromedon, which is already slightly dead. Overwatch traps are strong. Where are- so Kyori, we'll bring Kyori to the side. A coodle doodle doo! A coodle doo! Here comes Kilroy. Uh oh! What's this ability? That's America. And it's beautiful. Not dead! Uh oh! Oh no! But he's not done yet. Watch out, because that Andromeda is not done yet. Because the suit comes back. We all saw that thing go down. Now what the hell is it doing? The suit ain't done yet. The suit's on the way fucking back. Alright, it's not done. It's coming back for vengeance. However. However. Okay, okay. Alright. Alright, alright, okay, let's kick it. Here I come. Return of the Mac. What it is, what it is, what it is, what it isn't. Gonna do some haywire protocol on this stupid fucking Andromedon. So now, the suit is a robot. It's a robotic suit. So once the pilot is killed, the suit takes over and becomes a new enemy. But it also means you can haywire protocol it. I'm gonna take the chance. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing the move I said I'd never do again. We had at least one, two, we had at least three turns before. You mine, baby. You mine. <laughs> I can do it on this turn. He's got actions. I want to go fuck this muton. Help me fuck this muton. Hang on. Jumble, jumble, jumble. Jumble, jumble, jumble. Jumble, zoom. Deploying grapple. Activate them. Here comes Mr. Muton and his sectoid friend. They're coming to fight me. I will be their end. No targets available. What the fuck? So if I moved you to here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Reveal another pod. I don't give a shit. Oh, I should give a shit. That's a lot of enemies. That's a trooper. Oh, that's an officer. Mech. Shield bearer. Officer. Oh, that's every enemy on the map. Chilling out in there. That's alright. Do 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 do. Boop 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 boop. Holy 
shit! Mechs can shut down Andromedons, apparently. I mean, Newtons can shut down Andromedons, apparently. Holy shit, though! Still worth it. Still pleased with this. Still quite pleased with this turn of events. Okay, can you guys get inside? Because you need the covers. <laughs> hey, how clustered are they? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, so if you put it here, it gets both those. So that's the same radius, if not slightly larger than a plasma grenade, which is already amazing. It's got more da Oh no, it's got more damage! Oh no. Oh fucking no. Yeah, we gotta take some cover and engage in it. I still gotta kill this shithead too, hang on. I got so much stuff to do here. I gotta kill this stupid dick lancer. I gotta dick this guy. Oh, I need to gas them all though. Maybe Jamble can kill the dick lancer? With, uh, the old fanfire. I'd like to do it to the Muton, that would be nice, but that's... Oh, no, wait, no, 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 wait, here we go. Here we go, Return of the Mac, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is etc. You, you, know the, you know the song by now. So we jump down. Okay. Jump down to here. here I come. I'm gonna bury my face in this stun lancer. Just gonna brrrr, just bury my face in him. How many is that now? Now nah, I've got implacable. Oh, now we can get fucking nasty. Okay, so we're gonna move up. Heading out. Oh shit, bitch! Now we can get nasty. Sick fucking nasty. Okay, so bit of that, or a little bit of this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, where, where's Beegs? Beegs is gonna move to here. Maybe upstairs? No, Beegs, 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 I mean, you don't need to move up that far, do you? Because you can already, you can do whatever the fuck you want, so... You move up to, like, here. Tired of waiting around. Tank in half cover. So, the blaster bomb. Where are the enemies? We've got one back here. One, two, three. Four, five. So we can catch all five of these enemies in one blaster bomb. That would be sufficient. Four will do. That will be sufficient. So a blaster bomb. Dodge this. <laughs> That's some damage. That is some damage. Apparently there's an archon there that got hit by that too. So hopefully the I can't see the archon. So hopefully the gas bomb hits the Archon as well. It's a little bit far away. But I, I think we can catch... We can't... Oh, wait, there we go. We we can catch the Stun Lancer. It just doesn't seem like we can catch both the Officer and the Lancer. But that does force the Lancer to go around. So if we fire the gas bomb... Throwing grenade. That denies a lot of that area that they want to run through. While also killing a couple of them. Looks like I got... Oh, I got a civilian. I'm so sorry, Bruno. I'm so sorry. Okay, now... Hello. One, two, three. RIP YOU! Not too shabby. Not too this bad. Is it, right? This is it. This is your moment. Okay, uh, if we pull a lightning hands on him, he won't do a psychic ability, but then he's also going to shoot us. So there's good and bad from that concept. And if we burn him, he won't... He won't do a psychic zombie. And psychic zombie is probably the easiest thing I could deal with right now. So maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we want to save lightning hands for next turn. And leave the sectoid for this turn. Hop down. 
We'll hop over here. Seems doable. Moolah, the shit is getting real, so you probably just wanna probably just wanna take cover, man. Shit's getting hardcore in this mission. Uh just just I don't fuck just take cover here. Let's move already. Hopefully we don't get whacked. Hopefully the Andromedon takes most of the return fire. We can only pray. Oh, that guy's not even dead. He only did one damage again. This is this is broke. That's supposed to do like six damage. Am I misunderstanding something? That's supposed to do like six damage. The gas bomb might be broken in this build, I don't, or I misunderstand something, but it's meant to do like six damage a turn. Like it's that's the whole point of using it. Okay, officers coming in. That's why it's so good, honestly. Oh, doing a lot of damage. That's our main tank. Don't do that. All right, that's no good. He's shielding every nearby unit. So we need to kill him next turn. That Archon's got a third action too. So he's going to attack this thing. Miss because of his poison. God bless that poison. Codex is teleporting. The Codex actually has a brain and might do something. No, we're rip. Are you shitting me? <laughs> okay, they should not do that. That's not a good plan. And it's all up to the Sectoid to save their team. They've all clustered around the Andromedon, yet the Sectoid's actually going to do something. Hold on. The Sectoid has actually done something very good, which we need to watch out for. So bravo to the Sectoid. Actually did something useful. However, the rest of them kind of just clustered around the Andromedon. Which is unfortunately shut down. So now we have quite a tough task ahead of us. We must stop the sectoid, and Jamble can't see it. So that is an issue. That that's a real and legitimate issue we have, is that sectoid's put himself in an excellent position. And we can't get a bead on him. So we're gonna have to move up and get a bead on him. Obviously. Where can we get a bead on you, Mr. Sectoid? Not from the side. We're gonna need grenades to help us here, I think. Okay, Beagle could move up and probably grenade the Sectoid. Then move up to here. Let's move already. But this is this is the main pressing problem we might have now right now. We gotta shut down the Sectoid. I think it looks like that will be quite possible. We, we must hit this sectoid. We also ideally want to kill the shield bearer because he's giving the sectoid a lot of health. If we can kill the shield bearer, uh, we'll, be, we'll be a lot easier pressed to finish off the sector. Oh fuck, I forgot about capacitor discharge. Hey, Lamau. Okay, hold on. We got a bunch of shit to do here. There's a lot of shit about to go down. Oh, and you can shred storm him too. Can't Fuck, you can shred storm his ass. Yeah, fuck yeah, start with that. Oh, but we gotta kill the shield bearer, I keep forgetting. Um, we gotta kill the shield bearer first, hang on. Shield bearer has to die first. Can you see the shield bearer, Jamble? Not quite. Can you get eyes on him somehow? Not quite. Down. Maybe Ghost can get eyes on the shield bearer. Yes, you could. You could if you move to here. You can get all sorts of eyes on the shield bearer and take his ass down. Cut him down. So it must be. So move up. Got it covered. Go fucking ham bone. Risk your life, not for honor, but for the squad. No, 
Nice. The shields disappear. Who's keeping score? Shield removed, shield removed, shield removed, shield removed, shield removed, shield removed. <laughs> Lots of shields removed. And you can get back out of Implaceable, I keep forgetting, which is awesome. Hoo-wee, this is a fun round. Okay. Now we need to do the Shredstorm Cannon. I need to make sure this, this works right, team. There we go. Shredstorm Cannon. Uh, you're going to... I, I'm trying not to kill that civilian on the top floor. You're going to... Oh, but if I come to the left... Isn't there like a guy there on the left I can hit too? No, Beagle, no, no. It's... Don't, don't hit the civilians. Leave the civs out of this. You, you, I'm not going to let you hit the civs, Kilroy. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Okay, that should hit everyone but the civilians. Should be hit out of that, I think. So I'm going to Shredstorm Cannon. Plenty for everyone. No, I killed a civilian. <laughs> destroyed. I'm sorry, it's just there's so many civs. Yeah, I can't see them all! And the range is so long, we just hit a sieve in the background, like, it's impossible! Jesus Christ! Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, he's, he's okay, wait, he's okay. He's alright. He's okay. He's alright. He's fine. He's fine. Look at this Geneva Convention. He's fine. Look, he's he's good. He's good. He's still good. He's a-okay, -okay, folks. He's all right. <laughs> Jesus. I gotta rewind a key. Hang on. Holy shit, what is Z bound to? I've rebound Z to be my screenshot key. Zoom level? No, we don't need that. What a what a what a lovely day. What a lovely, lovely day. Okay, fuck the loot. We can pop another uh, grenade of I have a feeling will that rift go off at the end of the turn and kill them? Or will it go off at the end of the alien turn and they'll escape from it? I don't know. Probably just kill them just to be safe. Although, where's Jamble? Oh, Jamble's gonna have some mad action today. Let me tell you about it. Oh, Jamble's gonna go fucking ham bone. One, two. So if I move your ass up, because you can't currently see that officer, can you? If I move Jam up to here, I can handle that. Jamble can handle that. Okay, Lightning Hand's the most pressing target, which is probably the 73% on the Codex. Or you could say it's the 91% to kill the Archon. Oh, can we still not see the officer? It's a shame. Yeah, we can't quite see him, that's alright. Shoot the Archon with lightning hands. Nice. It's face-off time. Very nice. Would have been nice if you could finish off that person, Multiple but... Enemies neutralized. That's alright, you weren't quite in range, I didn't realize. I thought you'd be in range there. Now, I believe that Archon is dead now because it is burning and poison, so we can leave it. It's burning and poison, it should just die. God, this game is fun! Like, look at all this bullshit. It's just as fun to use as it looks. It is just as fun as you would expect. We should move over and kill uh, the elite officer. The elite officer. Or we should kill zone. To get the codex in the back, perhaps. Uh, if, I could get a, if I had the skeleton suit, if I had this grapple, I could set up a... Perhaps set up a kill zone that gets both of these people, as it is. Or is it the cone? Is it if they move into the cone, you react? I don't know, perhaps we can do science. Meanwhile, Debba Dog. We don't really need the grenade anymore. So we can just chill. You can actually just straight up hide now. 
with your second move, which is great. You can just run down and uh, hide. Finally. Implaceable is a good skill. Oh yeah, and Beagle Rush still has a turn. My B. So if I sit there, ha, <laughs> my B. My name is Beagle Rush. I'm so funny sometimes. Um, move to the side. On my way. Bone Daddy can move up. Let's do this. Just keep holding, Jonas Muller. Just keep chilling right there. Okay, if I pull an Overwatch, I'm on it. reload, free go. action. You pull an Overwatch. You pull an Overwatch. Come get some. Oh, you had a flank on him. I don't, you shouldn't have. But anyway, I don't care. And then you pull an Overwatch. I'm on it. Maintaining position. Hopefully, we should have him pretty dead. Andromedon shells still hack. Andromedon was quite good at baiting them into that position. They really wanted the melee of the Andromedon shell. It was not a good play. The aliens knew to the aliens as well, so they're like, Oh my god, it goes off at the end. <laughs> it goes off at the start of the next alien turn. Which usually would be bad. But because it's on aliens, it's actually perfect. So that's hilarious. Dead. More. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, shit. Suarez is in the line of fire, though. That's alright. We're feeling okay about that. Oh, and the loot isn't even blown up. I can still get the loot. If I dash for it. I want to get a flank on you, but I'm worried that there are... Enemies afoot. Is that in the gas? I feel like there's enemies around, but if I just move slightly to the side, I should be able to get a flank without revealing myself to the enemies, I think. What's this? You can't move there. Why is that? A corpse blocking it or something. Activate Wraith mode. Let's see what you can do with Wraith mode. If only you could shoot through walls with Wraith mode too, that'd be the perfect combination. Alright, well you can sit like... You can sit out here and shoot this codex. Let's do this! Without activating anything else. And you're dead. You can't handle me! Draining ammo fast. And that's a motherfucking turn. Got it covered. He's gonna move up for that sweet, sweet loot, tanky man that he is. Willing to take on all risk. I've got the loot. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Absolutely. You guys enjoy that? I don't know how you couldn't enjoy that, honestly. Tired of waiting around. If you don't enjoy that, something's wrong with you in the head. Whatever you say. Give a dog. Okay, I'll go. Mula. It's finally safe to leave the LZ, Mula. We're finally ready. Fucking hell. Overwatch. Covering now. Overwatch. Come get some. Cover it. Menace 1 5, be advised. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. The thing I really like about the Wraith suit compared to the Ghost suit is the Ghost suit had two charges too, but the Ghost suit was so powerful that one, it was overpowered. Two, you didn't really want to use it unless you absolutely had to, I think. Um, zip. Going up. Let's go reveal with a free action. But with the Wraith suit, it's like, you have two charges, and you can kind of use it whenever you feel like it, because it's not as broken overpowered, so it's like, if you waste it, it's like, oh well. So it's a nice to have that you actually get to use and experiment with in different situations. Alright, hello. Plus 25 defense. 
so we would like to kill you if possible. I hear a mech pod down there too, I'm pretty certain. Um, where will we be able to get a grenade? If we move to here, perhaps. Not a problem. Might reveal a mech pod as well, if I'm not careful, but that's alright. I don't really actually care too much. I just want to get a grenade on these two. Oh, I saw it, I saw it. Hello, there we go. Here, catch. Trick shot, here we go. I just demolish entire- look at that viper. Just demolishing entire buildings. The engine is just- Oh, look at the viper rantle go! Can't even handle it! Viper's dead. But of course, the Archon isn't going to fall down, because that would make sense. So we still got to engage the Archon. But how? But how will we engage the Archon? Uh, Sniper Rifle Shot might do it. Going up. Grapple is really good. Like, you don't have to do what I'm doing. Like, I'm already thinking about how you could just put everyone in grapple armor. And you'd be so mobile. You put everyone in exosuits and have tons of blaster bombs. You put everyone in the Predator armor and have all this crazy shit, you know? Like, there's... All the different armors seem really useful. Like, in different... Uh, in, in specifically different ways, which is impressive. What you got, Beegs? What you got? You got targeting on this guy? Nay, no, you do not. You're like a tile away from having targeting on him. Tis a shame. It's a shame, boyo. It's a shame. But you can't get grenades on him. So I think we should just start lighting this motherfucker up. Let's move already. Will that reveal the mech pod? Apparently not. Uh, bang. Nice crit. Guns dry. Okay. One sniper shot at 84, or two pistol shots at 90. See, the pistol gets better at close range, whereas the sniper rifle gets worse. So it's good to be proficient in both, as Jamble is here. Because now we can take a pistol shot. And we had another one if that failed. You know that was good. That was pretty good. I'm not sure if the laid-back attitude suits Jamble. I don't know, the lines and the attitude... I don't know, I, I prefer the all attitude, I think. I might set it back to normal. But Commander, you told me to be laid back. That was for the photo shoots. It's acting. Here I it's come. a persona. Okay. Here I come. I guess that'll be okay. Local boyfriend doesn't let his girlfriend be the way she wants to naturally be after he forced her to be that way. On what a terrible On boyfriend. On Overwatch. A shameful boyfriend. Hey yo, where the mech's at? I want to know where the mech's at. Free auto load. Good to go. Seems doable. Always get free loads when you can. You never know when they're they won't be available anymore. Always take the free loads while you can get them. Sure thing. I don't know where I was going with that. Tired of waiting around. Finally. I'm trusting you here. Little little article. The annals of Beagle Rush advice. Always take free loads. Got it covered. Scanning. Scanning. Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I wanna know where this mech pod is. I didn't do the rifle over watch a jamble. Whoops. But here we go. That's not a great start to a heavy mech, but that's alright. We've got plenty of toys. I've got eyes on an advent position. Bye bye. Nice shred. Was it just those three? I think. Well. Roll. Oops, I shouldn't have reloaded. I cannot capacitor discharge the robot now. It's a shame that's exactly what I wanted to do. 
I thought I'd be in range for Shizzle. Oh well, I know exactly who is in range. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man, no time to talk. Whether you're a mother or whether you're a brother, you staying alive, staying alive. In a city breaking and everybody's checking you, be staying alive, staying alive. Ha 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 ha! Stay alive! Okay, I'll go. Whoops, that's not where I wanted you to go. Oh well. All right. Did you see that one? Let's get moving, team. I think that might have been it. Here I come. If I'm not crazy, that might have been it. Look at just a path of devastation. Devastation left in our wake. This is the true power of the all Grenadier squad. Three Grenadiers. Let's move already. Is just enough Grenadiers. Just enough. Got it covered. Just barely enough. Hold it. Look at the fucking pace. Okay, let's get upstairs. Tired of waiting around. Absolutely. Let's move already. You know, that's the thing about my thoughts on, you know, the vanilla X2 Just balance that I'm seeing the okay. review builds. And of course, this... The funny thing is, I mean, I'm playing the whole campaign in this, but... The crazy thing about this campaign Fine. is I'll probably be releasing this for a while, I would imagine, unless I release, like, 40 videos on day one, which is an idea. Um, but the funny thing is, if I release this at a normal pace, you know, we'd be, like near the end of February by the time you'd see this mission, I'd imagine, because this is pretty far along the campaign. And this has been like, what, two or three days after I got the review build? Like, I've just 24-7 this game. I've just not stopped playing. Well, I've, I've barely stopped playing. I've, I've slept and gone to the bathroom and eaten a few times. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, so this is still the review build, amazingly. Um, but one thing I was thinking is, you know, it's, it's very much like how I used to say about chrysalids in, uh... Let's do this! Next time in any event, how they're a gear check. That is to say, chrysalids are usually oh, easy to hit because they run up to you. So it's a gear check. Either you have the firepower necessary to kill them in that turn, if or you, you don't so. and they kill you. Uh, and I feel like it's similar with how strong grenadiers are. In enemy within an enemy unknown, the rocketeer was hard to use because you required both actions to fire the rocket. Unless you had snapshot or whatever. In long warp, and... Uh, there was a chance of randomness, there was a 10% chance it would fail, and at best you could only get, like, a second rocket, right? I'm pretty sure. And the Shredder, if you count the Shredder, which didn't destroy cover, and didn't, you know, there was caveats. But with the Grenadier, the Grenadier can move and shoot. They can shoot two grenades in one turn. Uh, they have all these heavy weapons. You can have a Grenadier with, like, three grenades and a fucking blaster bomb. Um, you know, all these abilities. Uh, and the problem, the only, that's fine, except the problem is there aren't enough pods. If this was like XCOM 2 Long War, let's say, and you had, uh, you know, instead of three pods, you had seven pods, you might run out of grenades by the time you get to the last enemies, and then it's quite tough. Especially if there's more enemies per pod, your ammo reserves are tested. But the problem with only having three or four pods is you just bring two or three grenadiers, and you've got enough explosives for the entire match. And when you have explosives, explosives are not affected by RNG as much, because they always hit, they're guaranteed to hit, unless you fuck up the targeting. So, it's a gear check. If you have the explosive firepower, if you're ahead enough in technology to have the explosive firepower necessary, you wipe the pods. If you don't, you don't. Um, you know, you rely on shots. So in that sense, it's similar, you know, it's a gear check. I'm on it. Uh, but the problem is, a lot of the gameplay is a gear check, instead of just one enemy type, because of just how much explosive power you have. Okay, I'll go. So I definitely think... Like, I'm having a, I'm having a fucking ball. I'm loving it. Let's move already. But I definitely think, for the healthiest uh, meta possible, no problem, boss. Grenadiers would definitely deserve some nerfs. Or well, not necessarily nerfs, because it's not fun. Like, it's really fun to use the Grenadier's abilities, so you wouldn't want to nerf them. Because they're really fun to use. 
So you would probably want to do indirect nerfs like buffing aliens, like giving certain aliens blast padding so not every enemy is just fuckable by grenades. Because right now grenades can kill everything is the problem. They, they're not bad against any enemy, they're good against every enemy. So you'd want some enemies like tanky enemies like mechs and shit to have blast padding. Uh, you would probably have the AI spread out way more on reveal. Uh, you would spread out less con- or you spread out contact over more pods so that the grenade reserves are tested more. Uh, shit like that, you know, you would do indirect changes that don't nerf the fun of playing a Grenadier. VIP secure and in position for evac. But do, um... Let's go! But do... Back in the uh, but do affect how powerful they are and how they're a one-size-fits-all solution. Let's go! I would also definitely say, I wouldn't do it for vanilla because normies wouldn't like it, um, but I say Long War's method where grenades have more variable damage and um, they're not guaranteed to blow up cover is also definitely a good idea because, uh, and, and the most important thing, uh, how grenades dealt less damage towards the exterior of their blast radius, because it was the same in Enemy Within and Enemy Unknown, you know? If you did land a good rocket, Heavies were broken in Enemy Within as well, you know? You just fucked people with the rockets because you could place this perfect rocket. So it's the same, you know? Long War fixed that by having it so towards the edge of the blast radius, you go down to minimum damage. And that would probably quite neatly solve the Grenadier issue in XCOM 2 as well. I'm out of here. That said, I'm fucking loving the game and it's hilarious. It's just not as challenging as it could be. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. It's fucking exhilaratingly fun to just blow everything up. Um, it's a lot of fun to do this, but I'm imagining I'll probably do this uh, vanilla playthrough, you know, that I'm doing on the review code, and if I finish it after release, I finish it after release, maybe I'll, I don't know how long the game is. Um, but I would imagine after that, I would like to get stuck into, like, a long war type of balance, where the game is, if you guys see my streams I was doing during the preview build, I really, you know, that's the thing about XCOM 2, it's really fun to just stomp the aliens like this, but on the flip side, uh, the streams I did where I made the aliens have like an extra alien per pod and extra health and armor, that was tough as fuck. That was really tough. Uh, and as a result, um, this engine is so cool when you get to see like those incredibly tense situations. Because as good as this game is to stomp aliens, XCOM 2 is at its best in those horrifically tense situations. All the mechanics and new aliens and squads and new perks work really well in these tense clutch time situations. Uh, and you know, the game is just at its best with that balance ratcheted up to 11, so I think that's what I'll be looking for, uh, definitely, come release. But as for now, that was a furious feast for our soldiers. An absolute furious feast. Good work out there, Commander. The aliens must be getting nervous by now. I think we're well past that point, Shen. Oh, yes. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Limited resources. We are literally space marines. But whatever. <laughs> Fun and games. Fun and games. But having said all that, let's try not to lose off the Doom Ticker, because that would just be sad, considering how well we're stomping them tactically. It would be classic Beagle, but at the same time, this is my first time really seeing the late game Doom Ticker, so I won't take too much of the blame if we do lose off the Avatar project. But I, I, I think we'll be okay though. Setting course for the Western US Because we've got this facility lined up, we've got the Psygate lined up, we're about to take over the whole world lined up. I think we'll be okay. Oh yeah, motherfucker! Oh yeah! What next? Stasis shield. Stasis can be cast on allies, rendering them immune to any attacks and stun for one turn. Does that mean it just stuns them through the enemy turn? Yeah! That's an incredibly good ability! Um, sustain is still good and fortress is still good, but that's so good! So I could just run like someone out into the open, and just to kill everyone, like, I could run Jamble out into the open, face off, kill everyone, and then stasis shield her. Be fucking sick. Hell yeah. Sai's pretty fun. Sai's pretty fun. Uh, 
All right. What's up? Welcome to LA. Reading you loud and clear. Okay, Western US is mine. Canada isn't even included. You still do missions in Canada, I'm pretty sure, but it's not even included region-wise. Isn't that fucked up? It's fucked up. I know. So now we can do that facility whenever we want to. We can also make contact with Eastern US and get to work on that, which we will do soon. If not now. May as well, yeah? Yeah, may as well. And then we can start working towards uh, probably taking New Chile and then taking Oceania. Um, and then we can think about finishing off East Asia, finishing off uh, this whole area again. Yeah. And one day perhaps even Europe. I just haven't really needed that much, that, that much this time around. But if I had that, I'd switch out the best PCS for Jamble, obviously, but, but right now, I, I just haven't really needed it. Um, so let's see. How are we going down here? Can we spare anyone for the resistance comms? Uh, not exactly. Not really. We'll wait until we finish excavating, and then we'll have plenty. In four days, we're gonna have plenty of engineers. Uh, so for now, we can just go get some alien alloys. Or we could start building a radio relay somewhere. There's no point building a relay here, I guess. We can go finish our relay in the new Arctic. Setting course for the Arctic. Let's go do that. Boop. New targets. Okay, yes, we need to counter Avatar Project Major Breakthrough. Yes, we do. Hidden events. Rapid response. Rapid response is, eh. Hidden event, we don't know what it is. But we have to stop Avatar Project. Always, always gotta stop Avatar Project. I mean, technically, I suppose you could live dangerously and let it tick over because it's a white anyway and then immediately do the facility. But I wanna get the most time out of. I, I wanna have the most time I possibly can. So instead. We'll go get Dr. Fiona O'Connor. We'll go destroy the alien relay. We'll go counter the dark event. Elite officer, elite trooper, elite shield bearer. Heavy mech, heavy lancer. So you got a full advent squad. The five, the five advent troops, all elite. Um, well, the the lancer is an elite. Uh, and then we've got Archon, Viper, and Dromedon. Without writing down notes, I, it's a nice way for me to to memorize it. Is if you see all five of the advent types, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Then you just go, okay, you know. Full Advent Elite Squad, plus Archon, Viper, Andromedon, Muton. Let's go. Setting course for Brazil. Let's go deliver some... I, I need to research more Blaster Bombs. That Shredder Cannon, though, that, that saved us out of a pinch. The range on that thing is immense. That Shredstorm Cannon is so good. That got us out of a pinch. When you can't flashbang the Sectoid, just Shredstorm Cannon them. I'm going to change your attitude back, Jamba, like I said. Gonna give you an attitude adjustment. We don't have a happy. You know what? You've gone through your normal phase, then you got cocky. Now you've accepted the cockiness, and you've accepted the cockiness into your life, and you're just you're just happy go lucky now. You're just happy. You're just pleased with yourself. You're quite pleased. Alright, squad's looking as good as they ever have. Plan throw is still here. Fuck it, let's do it. data back to their network. The loss of that data will stop their latest project in its tracks. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. We're expecting a strong contingent of security forces. Neutralize them and secure the site. Destroy that relay at all costs. Alright, so that'll be next time as we go into Needle Flats Bogota for Operation Falling Sky. Until then, have a good one.